Good morning, everybody. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. Today is Tuesday, August 20th, 2019. We've got a few pieces to show you. Got some stuff going out the door this morning, so let's get right into it. This five-piece order right here, including this European Hornet, is all going to one place. You saw these get painted earlier this week on a spray session that came out Sunday, um, but I've pulled the 300 out. These are genuine bandit lures. And this is a color that Bandit is no longer making in the United States. I don't know the backstory. I've, I've put a message in to Bandit, but I have not heard back from them. Uh, generally, they're pretty good about responding, but sometimes it just takes a little while. Bandit does have a color that's sort of similar. There, okay, so there's two. There's a couple. There's a salad bar, which has got some funky silver stripes on it. And then there's a, a perch color that is uh, like the chartreuse perch that has the yellow belly but it has black bars on it and black eyes it doesn't or i'm sorry it's got the yellow eyes it doesn't have the red eyes like this old traditional pattern that's discontinued does um but this is the end result with the hooks and everything back on it i put the stock right back on it because i was sent these in the box so everything that came with it is going back with it as well to john murphy and thanks for placing that order. Had a lot of fun doing it. Um, the other thing that he ordered was the European Hornet, which is traditionally a two inch long Hornet in real life. Um, so it's okay to put something that big on a bait like this. Traditionally I do those on the 2.5 square bills, but I wanted to kind of make an adaptation for these Dinger wide lip square bills as well. It's got the red crown on it, the red eyes, and it's got the black legs. The segments are, as you would see, on uh, on the bug itself. And I believe, I think at least, it is the only true hornet that resides in the United States. Much like this next little guy that we're going to show you from the last two of the 10-piece going out to RJ in Texas. So just quickly going through these last two, uh, gave you a bloody mullet which has got just a little bit of blue-green pearl. Very translucent on the belly of this. Got the shad dot on it. White malt eyes. And a lot of blood splatter. You always like the blood splatter. Love the blue-green pearl. These are actually FW pearls. That is a, a much thinner type of a paint that shoots very well through the airbrush. And then uh, a little bit of copper and black magenta to finish it off on the top the last one that i did for him since he is a texas guy we did the red texas cichlid now the texas cichlid is the only cichlid that resides in the united states naturally indigenously it lives in the rio grande river and this particular variety of them the red texas cichlid is actually a hybrid so it's not naturally occurring although you will find it in the rivers uh, in texas these days and it is a crossbreed between the flower horn cichlid and the texas cichlid so that wraps up the last two out of that 10 piece and then he, he's getting a couple more as well and that is all in the way of stuff to show you guys that you have not already seen. Um, sprayed grass is going out today to Rick Valdez, also a Texas resident. And then starting this project today for Dirk Buffalo Man up in Kansas. So supplies have come in. I've got the stuff I need to get started with this big, great big painting, two feet by four feet. I can't wait to see where you put this thing. And I'm hoping fingers crossed and prayers up that your guest house cabin is finally underway again i know that there were some hiccups as far as zoning and permitting not your fault at all um, but i know how those things go when you're trying to get stuff done it's always hurry up and wait so i hope that your wait is over and i hope that you're hurrying up again so keep us posted on facebook on how that's going the rest of the day is going to be three orders up on the board and I've got another order for these. Um, I've got a four piece blueback herring that I'm going to be doing for another customer in North Carolina. So that is all the news that's fit to print. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. 
I am going to sneak out either tomorrow or Thursday and do a little fishing because it's one of those days again where I haven't had a day off in a little bit. So we're going to do it. We're sneaking out. Just can't figure out which day. Not today. Today is like a sauna outside. So you guys take care and we will see you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. Mm -hmm.